The Janome 9850 is an all-around versatile sewing and embroidery machine. This combination machine allows you to do regular sewing, your straight stitch, your zigzag, your buttonhole stitches, quilting stitches, garment construction, you name it. You can be able to do it on this machine. It has 200 stitches built in. Then you have the best of both worlds. You can convert the machine over to do embroidery and do the elaborate embroidery designs. This machine gives you a 6.7 by 7.9 embroidery field. It's spacious. It has uh, so many features that we're going to go in and talk to you about on this video. Feel free if we don't cover something to give us a call or drop us an email anytime. Let's show you a little bit about the sewing side of this machine. With the 9850, you get the best of both worlds. And on the sewing side of the machine, you have over 200 stitches built in on the machine. Everything's laid out on the computer board. It makes it very easy about pulling up the stitches. So all I have to do is look at my stitch placard. All the stitches have numerical values to them. The machine will even recommend what foot you need to use for that particular stitch. You make sure that your needle doesn't hit the presser foot. So I have utility stitches, buttonhole stitches, applique, heirloom. I have several quilting stitches and garment construction stitches built in, decorative stitches, and I can adjust the length and the width on all the sewing patterns. This machine gives me the ability to do a nine millimeter width stitch. And this is the same width and uses the same accessories that the top of the line Janome machines use. So you're not gonna be paying that top of the line price for a machine that does sewing and embroidery. The machine allows us to do quilting. I have an eight inch throat space from my needle to the inside of the sewing arm, and then I can remove the accessory tray and expose my free arm to be able to hem pants and shirt sleeves and things of that nature. But on the front of the machine, I will have all the computer controls you're used to seeing in a Janome. I can adjust the speed, the sewing speed of the machine. This is really nice. I have a built-in scissor that I can just hit a button. It's going to snip my bobbin and top thread for me. I will have the needle up, needle down feature. So when I set the machine to stop needle in the fabric, if I'm doing applique work, I'm able to do that. Or I can set the machine to stop out of the fabric so I make sure that I don't break a needle or bend a needle. I do have the auto lock feature, which will tie the stitch off underneath for me. And then I have, of course, reverse built here. And then I can use this machine with or without the foot control because I do have a start stop button here. Machine is very easy to thread. So all I have to do to thread the machine, I have a horizontal spool pin here that's built on to the machine. And I also can use a vertical spool pin with this machine. Everything's channeled all the way to my needle. So I make sure I easily get the, the thread in the tensions. I can sew with a twin needle with this machine. And then I have a nice needle thread that's built in. So just in a matter of seconds, I've actually threaded my needle. The bobbin is as easy to thread as well. It's channeled all the way down. I've threaded my needle and I'm ready to sew. The computer screen is a nice color screen, so I can easily see what I'm doing. If I want to go into the machine, I can actually change the background. So if the background, I can't see that well. If I need to change the color, that's so all my icons show up better for me because everybody's eyes are different. I'm able to do that right here on the screen. I can easily go back and forth from inches, inches to metric. I can turn the volume of the machine down. There's all kinds of things that I can do on the machine. And don't worry, you're not going to erase anything off the hard drive of the machine. I'm able to go in and do quite a bit of what's built into the machine. Then I get it set like I want, I just hit OK. And I'm able to go back easily to my home screen. Here is where I'm going to be doing most of my work. Um, it tells me which mode that I'm in. So if I want to do a certain stitch, I just hit a button. The machine pulls that stitch up for me, recommends the pressure foot I need to use, and now I'm ready to sew this particular stitch out. And notice the extra high lift under the pressure foot. I'm able to sew with a lot of different weights of fabric because I have a seven point feed dog system that's actually touching the fabric in seven places. So for lighter weight material, it's gonna help feed that fabric through without me having to worry about the fabric puckering. And the needle plates are very easy to take off the machine. It's one button here and the plate pops out. 
I get ready to use a straight stitch plate, I can easily put that in the machine and I'm ready to go. Now let me show you a little bit about the embroidery side of this machine. The 9850 gives you a spacious embroidery field of 6.7 inches this way by 7.9 inches. You uh, have the locking system, so when I have the embroidery hoops onto the embroidery carriage, I do not have to worry about that popping off, knit embroidery, and doing any damage to my machine. Let me show you a little bit more about this hoop. You'll notice the metal pieces here. I can actually get magnets. If I'm doing a quilt swatch or if there's an item that's hard to hoop, like a beach towel, or a hand towel, or something that's awkward to hoop. Maybe I want to embroider something onto um, a collar or a shirt sleeve or something like that. I'm able to use these and adhere my garment down onto the hoop. So I'm actually just floating it on top. Let's do a little bit of embroidery. All I have to do is get my hoop in place. Now twist the knob, I've locked it, and this hoop is not coming off my embroidery carriage. I really do like the system there. You won't have to worry about that at all. And then I go into embroidery mode. So there's one button that I push, and I'm ready to go into embroidery mode. Machine will calibrate. This is really nice. I have an edit mode that's built into the machine. So now I can go in my edit mode. If I want to bring a design in, I'm able to go back to my designs. Now there are hundreds of designs built in, but the beauty part about the 9850, I've got a built-in USB port. There I can go easily from my computer, whether I've got optional digitizing software that I want to make my own design. Maybe you find some free designs on the internet that's in the Genome format. The Genome format is one of the more popular formats on the market. Save that design. I'm able to plug it right in the machine and pull the design up. But let's say I want to do this butterfly here. I really like the fact I can just touch the design. I can drag it anywhere I want. And the white part here represents my hoop. So let me drop that right there. Then I can go into my alphabets. You've got several fonts that's built in on this machine. And I'll do an alphabet and then I can just drag it down. And I can just keep filling this up. And I get the design set like I want. I hit OK. It tells me how big the design is, how many uh, colors are in this design, how long it's going to take to embroider it. It easily, all I have to do is just follow the directions if I want it to look just like this. Now let's embroider it. The machine is super quiet. I can walk off and leave this machine and not have to worry about it. It's going to finish this part of the design out in this color. It'll stop and snip the thread, and then I can move on and just re-thread for the, my next color. There are other fail safes that's built into the machine. There's sensors built in that's not going to allow me to hit my hoop. There's sensors I can change. It tells me when a thread breaks, when my bobbin's running low. If the power was to go off, as long as I keep my fabric inside the hoop and don't move the hoop, I can pull this design back up. And because I'm able to see the exact stitch count of this design, I can fast forward through color changes and fast forward through stitch counts and get close to where I left off and embroider, continue right on with my embroidery. This is just a brief overview of the 9850. There's so many more things this machine can do. We just want to touch on the highlights of it. Feel free to give us a call as we carry everything that's made for this machine. We can help you after the sale. They have plenty of people here, not just salespeople, but educators and technicians that can help you get the full enjoyment out of the 9850.